you know, since I met you, I don't know. There's, well, and um, more, what's happening late is that um, the, it's sort of being amazed at what I say and do now. Yeah. You know, before, it seemed like I'm a good person, you know, doing things right. Yeah. And yeah, there's, and there yes. really, there really isn't doing it all right. There's just a suppression. There's an idea that comes about that this is how it should be, and yeah. it might even be that those things that you think were wrong, they come from an idea of try, like they're just ideas seemingly piled on top of each other, and it just deadens everything. It's all ideas. But then even what I was saying about help, helpful is what it requires. Helpful is there requires an image of before you met Lisa. And then an image now after you've met Lisa and a comparison. And how's that known? It's not really known. That the seemingly we could say maybe there's been a falling away of ideas in the story, but it all requires comparison and we don't know because we only know this and images arising in this. So that idea might or the thought or something might come out that says, okay, things have changed for the better now. And that was said now, but we don't know that. All we ever know is now. We don't know past and future. It's always questionable. See, and that, that piece, what you just said to Jason, you yeah. know, that it happens in this. Yeah. Like, I want to get that. I want to, I mean, it sort of, um, but it's nothing, it's not something that can be got because it's the way it is. Has it ever not been this? Right. This, the mind associates this as forms. So what Lisa's saying is it's always been this log cabin, which it has always been this log cabin, but it's always been these certain forms. Forms appear and disappear. Forms are always in movement, but they're appearing in this. So I'm not talking about forms always being the same, although in another way you could say they are always the same because there's no movement happening, but forget about that. We're just going to say we'll stick to this bit at the moment is it's always been this. When's it not been this? Beingness. Right, the, the beingness. Aliveness. That I, that I know. Which is absolutely timeless. And then forms seemingly are always changing, but yeah. they're not at the same time because it's always this. And the imagination of the last form is an imagination arising now, here, of a last form. Yeah. Yeah. It's always and this. And the imagination of a future is an imagination rising now. Giving yeah. the appearance of lots of movement and lots of past and future. And then at the same time, forms always seem to be in movement. But the movement's never really happening. It's always ultimately stillness. Yeah, yeah. And that, I, what seems to be, hap you know, and I, I, it's hard not to equate and maybe it's from being with this old friend and and it's sort of just be just being well i'm sort of amazed at more not more i guess that what comes out of my mouth or what i do you know we're around all these other new people or just i just feel um well less in control of myself or yeah. something you know what yeah. i mean like i'm not uh any, and but that's of, the way it's always been. It's just that yeah. there's always been this cap on it saying, I am in control, I am in control. Right. And right. it seems that in this, in, in this, that that dynamic's falling away. But ultimately it's not, because this whole imagination of being with them and less having less caps is all imagination now, giving the appearance of somebody that exact, actually exists in the world and is separate from other things. And, I mean, I can't help but think it's related <clears throat> to you as well, or the residents. Or yeah, yeah. But that's, that's all, that's yeah. all I, ideas put onto this. This is mystery. Yeah. And this is mystery. And there's nothing wrong with those thoughts. Well, they're appearing, but then they're gone again, and there's drinking tea. I know. And, and, uh, <laughs> but, and it, it does seem like... <clears throat> it might seem like it's related but it's ultimately not well and that really there's just the silence i mean it's hard to say the words but there's just the silence you know and there's not you know the character does as it does and the things happen yeah but then i don't know and the <laughs> me's always trying to relate it back to somebody in time yeah but, somebody uh, in time
Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go back in to my room. But anyways, I really, yeah. I mean, and I'm glad you talked about the grateful thing, but this character is really grateful, even though I guess it's not related, but... Um, but the gratitude, the character, the me dynamic thinks that the gratitude is for Lisa and then has an image for Lisa. But it belongs to nothing. It, gratitude, everything belongs to nothing. It doesn't belong to a thing. Yeah. But then, it, I guess, and I under, related to what Karen said, and you know, about the, the two parts of the one, it's almost like the one watching the character now, you know, and not really... And I talked about that last time, not caring, not caring as much, you know, sometimes. I don't know. It's so crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, but they, I feel like there's less thinking. Yeah. And I guess that's what my question more was about. Like, But all of this isn't known that there's less thinking. It's not even known that there's somebody watching a character. That's only known in thoughts. Right here, this can't be described. Words can come out, thoughts can come out, but that's not actually it. The only thing is mystery, and even mystery is a way to sum up. The, the personal dynamic is always trying to make sense, and I assure you this is absolutely senseless. <laughs> but it is really crazy when that character that's making sense of everything it, um, keeps popping its head up, so it collapses, and then there's just this, and then suddenly everything collapses contracts again and then there's a me there that's in time and it feels like this is a little bit crazy because there's just everything happening and then suddenly it's happening to someone and that is a a seemingly crazy place to be in yeah it's like um it's like you know the dream at night how that happens it's it's like it's like that's just suddenly appearing in the daytime that dream at night and it really is like that that dream at night is suddenly appearing in the daytime and then it disappears and there's just this and then it appears again and it disappears and it feels like two different worlds and it, it, it really does give the appearance of two different worlds like the dream at night really feels like it's happening <coughs> but it's a dream yeah <coughs> so it seems like a big like roller coaster show seemingly Hold on. I mean, you don't even know. Yeah, it seems like that. And then there's just sensation happening. There's touching lip. There's looking at Lisa. There's speaking happening. There's hearing happening. There's light happening. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, it's... I don't let anywhere for that mind to go, do I? <laughs> it oh. tries. It's like... Duh, duh, duh. Oh. Which is good. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think it's good. <laughs> and then you're like... Oh. <laughs> Light <laughs> smells. <laughs> I just want to thank you. Oh, but thank you too. It's it's not a thank Lisa. It's a thank this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This that that whatever. I know. I can't even words. I, that doesn't even do it. Yeah. I mean, to why why or what or who or yeah. but. Yeah. But thank you. It's good to thank you yeah. for I'm it's so happy. Good to see you see again. And connect and yeah. your words really I mean whatever it is resonates and is working <laughs> working, whatever that means. But, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. much love to you. Much love. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Uh there's lots of questions guys that I haven't answered, but I really have to go now because I'm um doing this um Dream Bus interview.